This is Eric at Richmond Honda House, richmondhondahouse.com. Today we're going to go over the brand new vehicle from Can-Am, the Can-Am Riker. It's a 900cc, the model we have here today. They also make it a 600 and a 900 Rally. Today we're going to do a little walk around around it, show you some features, show you some nice things, what this unit can do, and what this unit comes with. So right here, as you see, the Riker, it's a very naked motorcycle. It looks very much like a uh, Roadster. It's fantastic. You got this wonderful seating position, super comfortable. The biggest feature on this bike, which I love the most, is the adjustability of all the controls. The controls are fantastic. The bars, you just lift up, push forward, now you adjust it. I like it forward because I'm a bigger guy. I'm six foot four. It's a really nice riding position here. The pegs, same thing, super adjustable. Just pull up, wiggle it back, right here. Now you have a more sporty position or for if you're a little shorter, bring all those pegs back closer to you. This bike has forward and reverse. It has a CVT transmission, so you're always in the right gear. You just twist the throttle and go, and boy does it go. The reverse is right here. You just bring it backwards, give a little throttle, you're in reverse, you back it up. To go back to forward again, just push forward, and there it is. I was really impressed with this Riker when I first saw it. I love the single-sided swing arm. I love this open side over here. It's fantastic. When we come around up here, you just notice the wheels. The wheels are really amazing the way they did this with the single center bolt. Give you that really nice look. Up front here, you notice here the different panels. This bike has 75,000 different configurations you can do with all the accessories they make for this. They make tons of different panels. You can pick out so you can customize it, really make it your own. Panels are very easy to come off. Just lift up here, take some pins out, put them on, you got a whole new ride. Front panel, super simple. Put your fingers under here. There's some tabs right here. Pop it right out, and there it goes. Super easy, you got your battery, your fuse box, your um, coolant right here. You can even see right here, steering, all the steering actuation, it's really nice. Really easy to put back on. This is also that simple panel that you can replace to make it your own. Just a couple bolts, changes this out, make, give you a whole new look. To put it back on, I'm just gonna line up the tabs up top. And push it right in, easy as that. The way I see this, this Riker is made for, E for everyone. Entry level riders, love this bike. Easy to get on, small learning curve. Get you out riding if you've ever been thinking about riding. It's really fun. I'm an experienced rider, I've been riding since I was three. And this thing was so much fun, even for me. The way it handled, the way it hugged the road, it really feels connected. This does not have power steering, but you don't need it. It's lightweight, easy to turn, and that, that feeling you get when you're riding it with no power steering, you feel the road, you get every bit back. So you get instant input, instant feedback on what you're doing. Up front here, it does have some storage. This just pops up right in here. You got enough room for wallet, some things, water bottle, some of your paperwork. It also has two USB chargers here. So you can charge your camera, your phone, your GPS, and be good to go. Very simple to fuel up. Everything on this bike, they did low tech. So it's very simple, easy maintenance. Fuel, you just open up right here, fill her up, and get back to riding. Super nice here, parking brake, just a nice little lever. Comes out, put it right back up, she's in park. The key, it's nice, just a little fob, nothing big, nothing weird, you just put it on and you're good to go. Has a couple different sport, different modes. Has eco mode, so if you wanna get some good mileage, just ride it, then it has sport mode. And that sport mode really lets you ride and push the vehicle hard. It does have a vehicle stability system, so if you push it a little too hard, system kicks in just a little bit, gets you back on track, but the whole time it's on, you are in control of the vehicle and you point and go. It does exactly what you want it to do. I really see this bike as a great commuter, a great way to get out and ride, a great way to enjoy the country or the city because it's just it's at home in both places. That suspension it has just eats up the road, very comfortable. The seat, the seat is the most comfortable seat I've sat on. I wish they made one for my bike. 
it's just super super comfortable the whole time you're on it and you just want to keep riding it's the same you got to fill up with gas <laughs> over here you'll see this it's got a mono shock on the rear with some springs here for the suspension you got your disc brakes all around and it's got a one foot brake so you notice there's nothing up here one foot brake super simple you just push stop it that's it and she stops fast and hard the mirrors this is really nice up here so just like you're ever adjusting a bike you sit here you adjust the mirrors the way you want them you can also bring them down put them back here a little more cafe racer style bring it right back up put it where you are it takes seconds to adjust it to any rider up top on the controls very simple you got your kill switch you got your start switch you got your high and low beams turn signals and horn very simple very nice to have a very simple motorcycle especially if you're starting out or you want that very naked very bare bones look while riding this it really feels like a roadster it feels like that open air cockpit you have really comfortable to ride and it just really makes you feel one with the road the position here with that Rotax 900 motor right here, it just, you fit right in when you're leaning into those turns is that you really can grip the motorcycle really well with your legs, which gives you really good feedback on the bike. Over here, the, uh, the foot pedal here is adjustable for your brake. You can actually pick up this piece here, pull it out, adjust it down, put it right back in, boom. Because everyone likes that brake in a different place so you can really customize this bike to your riding style and your size. Put that right back there. Notice here, you have this bobber style rear end. So you really have that nice open fender, locked to space there, has a really good solid look to it. This bike also has where you can put a rear fender on it, second passenger with pegs that actually fold out right here. So when you don't want to ride single, we just want to ride single up, you just put them right back in ride like a champ all by yourself it also has luggage you can put on with this link system which is all toolless so you can remove and replace very very easily bag sits here saddle bag side bag sits here the side bag does fit a full face helmet which is very important when you ride and get where you're going let's go over how to start it real quick to start it we sit here after we're all adjusted adjusted our mirrors very simple put your foot on the brake put the kill switch to on Hit that button, bike turns on, cycles through. You just roll the throttle forward just a little bit. Now it's ready to go. Push that start button. Man, you are ready to ride this bike. It is fantastic. Turn it off. Just make sure parking brake's on. Kill switch. Boom, that's it. It's just that simple. Get you out there, get you riding. These models will be shipped December 1st. They'll be on the showroom floors mid-December. Contact Richmond Honda House, richmondhondahouse.com, and get your res reserve today. Now that we've gone over the Riker, let's put it through its paces and see how she rides.